Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno IR Remote Control. The IR or Infrared Remote Control is a great way to incorporate wireless control of your project. Infrared receiver modules are simple and easy to use. We will be connecting the IR receiver to our Uno and then use a library that was designed for this particular sensor. In our sketch we will have all the IR hexadecimal codes that are available on the remote. We will also detect that the code was recognized and if we are holding down a key. So let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now, IR um, detectors or receiver, receivers are little microchips that are uh, a photo cell that are tuned to pick up infrared light. So how exactly do they work? Well, they are almost always used for remote control detection. Every TV and DVD player uh, has one of these in front of it to see the IR signal from the clicker or sender. Inside the remote control is a matching IR LED. It emits IR or infrared pulses to tell the TV to turn on or off or change channels. Now the IR light is not visible to the human eye, so it's ideal for this type of application. Now the IR detectors have a, a demodulation circuit inside that looks for modulated IR at 38 kilohertz frequencies. And the IR sending LED has to be pulsed with um, modulated blinking at 38 kilohertz to, for the detectors to see that. Now the IR detectors are digital outputs and they detect 38 kilohertz infrared signal and output low, zero volts, when they do not detect any and output high uh, when they do detect. Controlling the space between the transmission, which is modulated signals, the waveform can be read by the input pin on the microcontroller and decoded as a, as a serial bitstream to tell what key has been pressed. So there's my actual receiver here that we actually would wire to our Arduino Uno. And then here is my remote control, which controls the um, light going to that receiver. And what I have is, as you see from the, the chart, the peak uh, frequency detection is 38 kilohertz, which is right here. So that's the optimum. And now you can look that either side, you can detect it, but 38 is where you want to be for the um, best uh, match. And remember that the sender and receiver must be match sets. Also our wavelength, 940, which is right here um, at that peak as well. So not every LED or infrared LED is going to work. You must match them, so we'll watch your data sheets on that. So let's uh, look at the wiring of this unit, and we will actually look at the, the actual physical hardware as well. So here we go. And you'll see that we actually basically have only three wires on this. We have a, a ground or a G wire, which is our black here. And then we have our red, which is going to plus five volt. And then we have our Y, which is our signal, which is going to pin number 11. So that's it for our wiring. And as you can see here, here's my Arduino um, Elegoo Uno R3. And here is my uh, infrared um, receiver and the three pins. So we have the ground, power, and our signal going back to pin number 11. And here is my remote control right here. So as I hit the pins or the, the, the uh, buttons on here, the infrared detects that and then sends the cor corporate um, or the appropriate hexadecimal value into this digital pin here. We detect that and we can determine what pin was actually hit. So let's take a look at the actual software. Here it is right here. And we have included the irremote.h. And in order to get that uh, library, you just hit sketch, include library, and add your zip file. And you can download this from your Elegoo disk that came with your Super Starter Kit, or you can download it through the program below and it'll bring in that, that, file, that, or that uh, zip file folder. For you. Also we include this IRH 
and the IRH is right here. And that actually will show you the, um, the actual codes that are coming back as a hexadecimal. Next, what we do is we look at the IR receiver, we create our variables. So there's my receiver here. And this is my decode results. And if I look at what pin it actually comes in, if you look at my receiver, you can see that it's pin number 11. So here's where I define that pin that coming back on. Then I have my serial port here. So I begin my serial communication because as I hit the pin or hit the button on the remote, it'll actually send that signal out. It will then show me on my um, monitor, serial monitor, what actually is going on. So I set my serial monitor, I print the IR receiver button decode, and then I get my decode information. Then we start my loop and this runs continuously. So what we do is we uh, look to see if we actually have a received IR signal. And if we do, then what we do is we loop one to 23 or 22, and we loop through here to determine what key that is that's been hit based on the um, signal coming in, based on the hexadecimal number that we saw. And if we see that number, then we're gonna print the actual key name for that uh, button that's pressed. Then else, if we look for a result, which is this, which is the repeat button, so that means that someone's hit the remote and held it, then we hit that repeat, and then we'll put print underneath it repeat. And then we resume again with the next value. So then we also put a delay of 200 um, milliseconds here, just in case, so you won't always hit that repeat all the time. You can see it's very sensitive, and if we had zero, then as I hit once, you'll see that we can have several different uh, shoots. So you'll have to look at your existing program and incorporate this in. And obviously not a delay per se, you'd have to do, uh, use a delay in your program. Now the other thing we have here is um, another uh, case function that if we see a uh, hexadecimal number, then we print the actual value here. So just another way of doing the same thing using the case. So that is my program. And what we'll do is we will send that over to our uh, Arduino Uno. There we go. And once it's uploaded, what we'll do is we will call up our serial monitor. There we go. And we are ready to receive our uh, buttons now or our code. So if we go back to our hardware here, we can actually hit, let's hit the power. And what you will see is that um, we have hit that power again. There we go. And a power comes back up on the board or on the monitor. Hit zero. It comes up and you see that I held it, held it a little too long. So again, you have to play with it in order to um, determine how you should do. There's one, two, three. And if I just hit four and hold it, you can see how it can repeat. So again, very easy to implement this remote control on any project that you're working on. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or bus data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.